Good morning, Ellie. Good morning, Vincent. I found some really cute stories today. I think you're going to like them. This one is called, Where Are My Books? It's about a little boy who really loved books. Spencer loved books. His favorite bedtime book was Night Night Narwhal. Sometimes he read it aloud. I never heard of that one. Every night, Spencer put the book back where it belonged. That way he'd always be able to find it. He has a shelf with his books on it. Ellie has a bookshelf, and so does Vincent. Papa Tom made them for you. Until one morning. Where is my book? Spencer looked everywhere, but it was no use. Night, night, narwhal was gone. I wonder what happened to it. We'll have to find out. That evening, he chose Tenacious Todd. It was okay. But Todd was a toad, and toads were amphibians. And amphibian books were supposed to be for right after lunch story time. He has his books all sorted. Which ones he likes to hear at what time of the day? That's interesting. When Spencer woke the next morning, Tenacious Todd was gone. Every morning, another book was missing. Wow, I wonder what's going on. Next to go was Send in the Clownfish. Then Beluga Beluga vanished. Sea Monkey and Bob went missing. Things were getting out of hand. He's concerned about this. I wonder where his books are going. Spencer vowed to, found, to find out what was going on. His father did not know what happened to Night Night Narwhal. Spencer's mother had no idea either. Nor had she seen Tenacious Todd send in the clownfish, Beluga Beluga, or any of Spencer's other missing books. That left only one person. Hmm. Where are my books? He asks his sister. And it looks like he scared her. She's crying. <laughs> so he felt bad and he had a tea party with her. She looks really happy. Him, not so much. Sometimes little boys don't want to play with their little sisters. It was time for a new plan. That night, Spencer set a trap with his copy of Space Frog Sam. He's tying it up. I guess that way, if somebody tries to take it, he'll wake up and he'll know that they took it. Let's see what happens. He's sleeping with his narwhal. The next morning, it was time for Spencer to get his books back. Where are my books? There's the narwhal toy, and the string is attached to the book. 
Now, I'm not sure what this is. That might be the thing that took his books. Spencer ran faster. The thief was just around the corner. Aha! That's my... What? Look. It looks like squirrels took the books. I didn't know squirrels liked books. Oh, they're all sitting. And it looks like this squirrel is reading to them. Oh. Spencer didn't know squirrels liked to read. Look at all the books and the squirrels. It gave him a great idea. Spencer told the squirrels. They could borrow his books, but there would be rules. Just like at the library, they had to return the books they borrowed before they could borrow more. But they didn't need to leave anything behind. That's what happens here at the library. You can take books and read them, but then you have to bring them back. Spencer even helped them pick out their first book. Oh, he's got the squirrels in his bedroom and they're looking at his books. He chose one for himself, too, and he promised to read it aloud. Aw, he's being such a nice little boy. He's reading to his sister and all the squirrels. That was a cute story.